spoiler alert, it goes here. Hello everybody, welcome back to Plain Simple. Uh, today we have a, a subject that a lot of people I'm guessing are wondering about or have thought about. Where does poop go in an airplane? Well, in this case, uh, this airplane, this particular airplane, has a system which is very similar to what most modern commercial jets have, which is a vacuum operated system. Right now, we're looking at the right side of the airplane, and again, this applies to this aircraft only. This is behind the wing, uh, right side of the fuselage. Here's the fuselage, and this, is, this section here would be underneath a fairing which is a panel that would close this up. And this right here is the vacuum tank. This is a holding tank. This is where all the water and solid matter would collect into. Um, this tank is kept under a lower pressure than the cabin by a vacuum pump. The vacuum pump is located somewhere else in the airplane and it's constantly keeping this tank under vacuum or, or at a lower pressure than the cabin is. Whenever you press the flush button and either toilet in this airplane, what it does is open up a valve that links this tank through that pipe to the toilet. Therefore, this vacuum in this tank over here will suck the matter from the toilets and bring it over here. The air gets pumped out and the water and solid matter stays in this tank. And now we're going to go up in this airplane and we're going to show you the other end of that pipe right there. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, now we're back inside of the airplane. Uh, this is looking forward at the cockpit. This is the forward lav uh, in the process of going back together. And inside of here, this is where the vacuum operated toilet lives. This is where it would go. Of course, it would have a seat and it would look very nice once it's closed up. And if you look here, that is the dump chute. This is the tube that connects the vacuum operated toilet to the vacuum holding tank. That tube runs under the floor, the length of the aircraft, back to where the holding tank is. And now we're in the back of the airplane. This is the aft lav. And this right here is where the, uh, that's so you know where you're looking. This is the baggage. So this is the towards the tail of the aircraft. The nose is behind me. And this is the aft lav. And this right here is where the second or the aft uh, vacuum operated toilet would sit right here. And again, we have right here right that it's plugged up now but that is the vacuum tube that is what connects the toilet that would be here down below the floor to the vacuum operated uh, holding tank uh, there you go it's a inside view of where the uh, bathroom material goes in an airplane all right now, uh, I'm back outside for, uh, for a quick second. Something that I forgot to mention is what happens to the toilet water after the, it gets collected on the tank. Once the plane lands, uh, there's this thing over here, this access door, which you can see its function here. When the plane comes into land to a, well, once the plane lands, there's a service cart that comes in and hooks up a service cart to this port here. And this dumps and empties out the contents of the tank and it goes into a service cart that carries away all the, all the matter from the tank. This here is a fill um, port to rinse out the whole system with fresh water and, and fresh fluids. So after this it looks a little funky now, but imagine there's a 
fairing that would cover this, which would be would cover all that and be flush with the door. That door is a service door that the service cart would come in, hook up a hose to, and drain that tank out and rinse it out and put new fluid in the whole system. Uh, that is for black water. Black water is all the uh, toilet uh, flush water. There is also gray water. Gray water is everything from the sinks, from washing your hands, washing dishes, whatever from the galley and the labs. That is not toilet water, it's waste water, but it's water from the sinks. That gets dumped overboard. And it gets dumped overboard through drain masts. And those, there's a couple of those in the belly of the airplane. There's one right here. I'll show you a close up of that. And the hoses coming from the sink drains right here into the drain mast. As, as you can see here, this says hot, these are heated. And they're heated to prevent the water from freezing up at altitude. And it gets very, very cold. So to prevent the water from freezing and plugging this up, these are heated. So great water from the sinks and the galley and the labs from washing dishes in your hands gets dumped overboard through these drain masts. Um, that was it. That was something that I I didn't mention before, and I thought I would include it in in the full path that the water takes, the, the waste water takes in the plane. That was it. See you guys. I'll leave you with the last view of the holding tank. That's where all the contents end up in a plane. So that's what that's what happens to poop in a plane. That's where it goes. See you guys.